Let's talk about why the BAT LTE. Well, as I said, uh, future-proofed alarm communications, something that we've always focused on. Uh, you know, back in the day, it was about a phone line with a cellular backup when I was selling um, security in the early 2000s. Um, so now uh, the Internet has really become that, that new phone line, um, and the cellular obviously still exists. Uh, so the alarm communications, that's the real heartbeat of your business. You know, when, when people see that sign in their front yard, they, they think about the security of their home um, and, and those signals getting to the central station in case of a break-in uh, or an emergency. Um, technology changes are constantly disrupting alarm communications, as we all know. Uh, we went through the 2G uh, sunset together this past uh, couple years. And um, there's, there's really no guarantee with any cell service, and, and the best way to stay ahead of that is to have a dual path communicator with internet on board, um, backed up by a cellular uh, with, with the most longevity available, and that's going to be your 4G LTE. Not that any of the other technologies are necessarily going anywhere, um, but this is going to be the longest uh, lasting and will be the, the technology that they continue to build on. Okay, great. I think we all remember the 2G sunset. Ryan, let's talk about the four unique features that the BAT LTE brings to the table. One. So the four unique features of the BAT LTE are simple, yet extremely important when it comes to life safety. Uh, first of all, this is the first 4G LTE dual path communicator all on one board. Uh, so internet would be your primary backed up by the LTE. Uh, if you don't want to use the internet, um, that's fine, too. You can just use the LTE portion, but it is always there. Uh, second, the dual high-gain antennas, as you can see in the diagram here, or the picture of the device, um, that is a, an incredible piece uh, that we added onto the board because it does give you 50% greater reception. LTE is going to give you great reception. We just kind of took that extra step uh, and, and allowed for even more reception. Uh, it's truly universal. Uh, this device will work with about 95% of alarm panels that are installed in the field today. Um, we also offer full remote programming for uh, GE CADEX, Concord, uh, DSC, Power Series panels, as well as your Honeywell Vista Series panels. Okay, great. Four unique features. Ryan, let's dig a little bit deeper into dual path communications. Great. So, again, a future proof. Uh, a future-proof idea uh, concept put into this product um, is very, very important. Whether in a home or a business, um, having this capability uh, is really a great feature. So as you can see on the bottom right-hand corner of the uh, device, this is an actual picture of the board itself, uh, we do have a hardwired Ethernet port on board. Um, that's plug and play, and we also auto detect that connection. So if it's there, we know it. If it's not, we know it as well. If it's not, we will move that over to the LTE communicator, uh, which you can see at the top center portion of the board, um, and that's going to be the new 4, 4G LTE chip there. Um, so really simple, auto detects, uh, and, and when one path uh, isn't enough, we've got two for you. Awesome. Future-proof dual-path communications. Ryan, now let's talk about these dual high-gain antennas. This is truly a unique feature in this industry. It, it absolutely is. Um, you know, if, if you look at the device, um, it's not much different as far as the size goes uh, compared to uh, those of you who are familiar with our BAT-CDMA and BAT-CDMA Wi-Fi. Um, the noticeable difference would be the antenna out to the left. Um, and that antenna replaces the need for a, uh, some sort of booster to get you a better cell signal. Uh, so really, really, really unique feature, and uh, it's kind of cool looking too. That is pretty neat. Dual high-gain antennas. Okay, Ryan, let's talk a little bit more about the simple panel connectivity that you mentioned. Absolutely. So uh, all of our radios uh, that are not part of self-contained systems uh, they all power off of the panel uh, themselves. So uh, there's going to be a uh, red and a black wire that would plug into uh, this device. We pull about 130 milliamps while uh, sitting still, uh, while idle, um, although the device is always on. 
Um, and then at time of transmission, between 160 and 180 uh, milliamps will be drawn from the panel. Um, so, so not a whole lot, just kind of like another keypad. This device also hooks to the tip and ring, which will allow you to get signals out of the dialer. Um, there are a couple of different types of connections that you can make on this, de on this device, which means this is kind of the universal portion. Uh, for the GE Cadex, uh, Honeywell, uh, DSC, and GE Concord, um, all of these devices uh, really provide that keypad emulation. So they actually go into the keypad terminals on this device um, allowing you to see the full keypad. So if a customer has a Honeywell Vista panel, for instance, and they want to change a user code, you could actually do that remotely from your office without having to run a service call. We also provide key switch arming and disarming. Um, this is kind of a more basic, simple arm and disarm solution. Uh, it plugs into our device on one of the terminals, but it also connects to the panel uh, to an open zone. And that will allow you to, uh, through voltage change, to arm and disarm the system. Again, it's just a simple uh, connectivity offering for the customer. Uh, and just to note, uh, for remote programming, uh, we do work with Honeywell's Compass software and DLS5. There are free drivers available on the website on alarmdealer.com as you go into your portal. Uh, and you can actually send out templates to each of your systems to make the uh, programming uh, that much easier. Uh, if you don't use those programs, uh, for these three panels especially, um, you can go in and do pretty much any and all programming uh, that you could do from the physical keypad, which makes it, it nice not to have to run a service call every time something goes, uh, goes wrong or somebody changes the user code. Fantastic. All right, Ryan, let's talk about the interactive services that all dealers out there are looking for. Absolutely. So with a major focus on security, um, we have Secure Smart Alarm. Uh, Secure Smart Alarm can be downloaded on the App Store. Uh, you can also get that on Google Play. So Apple and Android devices are compatible. Uh, this will allow you to remotely, an arm, remotely arm and disarm your system, whether you're on key bus or whether you're on key switch, doesn't matter. You can still arm and disarm it. Obviously, if you're on key bus, you're going to get that full keypad, and you're going to want to type in the code uh, for a simple arm and disarm through key switch. Um, it's just a simple on and off button. However, either way, uh, you will receive event notifications uh, via text, uh, push, and or email. There's also an event log on the app as well. That's going to be a 90-day event log, and that event log will show you uh, the events by user and by zone. The panel programming can be done through the app. And most importantly, it's not about IP data sale. It's about you guys going out and selling your business um, you know, to, to the end user and really wanting them to know who you know, the security company is providing their service. Um, so we brand everything once the app is loaded um, the customer is logged in. It's all about you. You, the security company, uh, no matter who you are, to that customer. Extremely important, the dealer branding. Ryan, let's kind of go over all of the features for audience members out there that are taking notes about the new BAT LTE. Can you run through everything for us? Absolutely. So in addition to us sending this out and making this available to you, um, to kind of recap what we just talked about, um, the BAT LTE is, is, is the top of the line product. Everybody should be using this product. Uh, dual path alarm communications. One, uh, two is always better than one. It's a simple installation, so keep your installation times. All of our devices are pre-provisioned um, to reduce those times, uh, which makes, makes that install very, very simple. Uh, it can be used as a takeover device. You can use it to upgrade a, a new panel if you do a lot of builder business. Um, the dual high gain antenna is extremely important for coverage. The universal compa uh, panel compatibility, another great feature. You can put one of these on your, on your technician's truck and know that it will work for almost every single job you have going on. Uh, the event notifications, very important by user, by zone. Uh, there's no limit as to how many people you can notify. The remote panel programming is great for you and for the customer. It's great for you because you don't always have to run a service call and, and, and try to charge that customer or sometimes have to absorb those costs. 
uh, but it's also beneficial to your customer uh, who doesn't have to take off uh, one day during the week for you to come out to do a simple service call uh, or take time away from their family on a Saturday. So again, very important. Uh, upload and download available on uh, some of the panels that we are compatible with. Uh, another great feature, you know, as, as time goes on, uh, technicians out there and users out there want everything to be made simple. Upload and download is a very simple way for us to uh, interact with that panel. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, with the app and the website, uh, the customer and you all have remote access on the go. Fantastic. And again, we've talked a little bit about this uh, on some previous slides, but can you kind of dig a little bit deeper for those folks out there that are taking notes regarding panel compatibility? Absolutely. So um, all of our panels that we're compatible with, you, you can get signals out of all the panels, uh, no matter what. Um, with some added features, such as a, a key bus connection where it's keypad emulation, um, these are going to be our fully supported panels. Uh, so it's going to be the full keypad for you. Uh, so Honeywell Vista, anything that really ends in a P would be, um, would be kind of your, your go-to for those. We're also available on the first alert panels, the SafeWatch Pro panels, um, the FB, the FBP, all of those Honeywell panels that fall in there uh, around revision 2.4 and higher uh, would give you um, all the access that you would need. Uh, DSC, for instance, power series panels, your 832, your 1832, 1616, and 1864, you can get a full keypad out of that. Um, but we can still communicate on panels like the 1555, the Alexor, the Impasa, uh, and the Neo panel. Um, so those would be examples of partially supported where you could still get a simple arm and disarm and at least send signals out of the panel. Uh, and then Interlogix being the third, um, you'll get the full support out of the NX4, 6, and 8 version 2 panels. Uh, Concord 4, Concord 4 Express. Uh, we actually build a snap-in module uh, for the Simon XT and XTI. Uh, so, you know, another great uh, reflection of how flexible IP data cell is. Uh, this compatibility chart is available on our website um, as well as within this slide once you, uh, once you receive the link uh, to the presentation. Fantastic. Let's move on to the technical specs. I know that you wanted to include this slide for uh, the technicians out there. Absolutely. So um, to kind of go over a, a small technical piece, obviously these are some questions that people always ask, um, so we try to address that way the technician is ready for that install. As far as the radio goes uh, and the frequencies for LTE, it runs at 700 megahertz, 1700 megahertz, and 1900 megahertz. So it really gives you some flexibility uh, on the Verizon network. Uh, in regards to power, um, it's externally provided 12 volts DC. Um, preferably, you're going to want to hook that up to uh, the panel, and then the panel should have the power hooked up to it. Uh, typical current, as I mentioned earlier, about 130 milliamps is going to be your kind of idle, always on um, pull from the panel. And then the maximum current at time of, of transmission is going to be about 160 to 180 milliamps. Environmentally, uh, the temperature range is, is pretty standard, uh, negative 30 degrees to uh, 70 degrees Celsius, so that would be up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, humidity, we're from the land of humidity down here in Houston, uh, <laughs> 0 to 95 percent uh, non-condensing. So, uh, very, very, very flexible uh, product. Really shouldn't have any, any issues uh, unless you're, you're, uh, you're in an area that, that just has extreme temperatures. Uh, the physical attributes um, of, the, uh, of the product, it's going to have a height of 7.05 inches, a width of 4.45 inches, and a depth of 1.5 inches. So uh, we don't waste space. Um, you don't have a big clunky uh, object on your wall. Uh, or inside the uh, inside a closet where the alarm can is located, uh, a very slick and uh, and good looking product on the wall. Okay, fantastic. That ought to get our techs out in the audience started. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video, where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, 
and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.